nice, very nice. I like the bumpers. It is, oh, it is a dually. I didn't realize it was a dually. This looks like the legendary Vanco Four Seasons. Steel covers in place, very nice. They painted these to match too, it all looks pretty nice. Sliding door. Looks pretty straight when it's closed. Maybe just a wee bit low, but not too bad at all. Nice. Got the Mercedes-Benz upgrade here. A little dirty. White van, been living outside. That looks a little rough. The bumper's pretty well done, actually. Not too much of the textures left, right. but just enough is. What do you think there, Florida the, Van Man? little deer whistlers. I don't think they'll work in there in that pocket like that. Nice new headlights. Interesting uh, cut into the bumper here to make that light work. Yeah, I was looking at that. Not horrible. It is the gray bumper. And you can still see some of the scratches from it, too. It implies it's been on there longer than I thought it would last, actually. You know, it's got the usual rock chips up here. But it's, it's not flaking off like Krylon does. Right? What's that? Former logo? Uh, looks like something spilled on it, spit on it, maybe. Pterodactyl shit on it. <laughs> a little dent here, a little scuff. Oh, they were a little gener overzealous with the paint. Oh, yeah. A little bit of runs. I am curious how old this paint job is. Lock works smooth. That's good. Oh, overwhelming with air freshener. Ooh. What do you think? Have we got it covered here? Yeah. We got a couple trees. The lights come on. The engine light comes on, so nothing's disabled. It has maintenance assist. It delayed beep at the delayed beep at us. Oh, because it's negative 31,700 miles since that's been reset. Yeah. Oops. Fan works, air conditioner was on. Curious what that light does best. Switch doesn't work, whatever it is. A headliner shelf, that's kind of nice actually. Looks like the headliner was reupholstered too, along with the pillars. Yeah, regular headliner shop. Still, it's a little more effort than we usually see. Yeah. But these are just slip-on covers. Oh, wait, what does that say in the door? Jasper something. Jasper engines plus transmissions. Circle the installed unit and nothing circled. Awesome. So it's got a Jasper something. I bet we're going to be able to tell. Ooh, okay. Gas cap rusty. Ooh, yep, that's another one for the bingo card. It's not too much of a roast. It's one for the bingo card, though. Okay, towing mirrors. Oh, I figured out what that light, what that switch does. They're on now. Let me see if I can get them turned off. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's very... Those shouldn't be on all the time. That's kind of messed up. Right, let me turn the key off. Are they still on now? Still, yeah, they're off now, I mean. Okay, so they come on with a key. That's, wow, that's wrong. Headlights? I think they're on. Uh, There's no catastrophic converter. Under the sills, yeah, it looks okay until you look too close. That's been replaced right there. Oh, yeah. Good catch. That's so been cut out. This is all bondoed up, fingerprints all over it here. I don't know what this is all about. Looks like a second grader got crazy with the finger paint. Say hi to the magic mic. Hello, Florida Bandman subscribers. Oof. Oh, we need to unlock it. Oh, this one's unlocked. Okay, that opened okay. That's in place. This looks okay. Yeah, I probably should have tried to color match your cock there, but hey, what do I know? I'm just a programmer. Okay. A comfy little sleeping cab. 
soft walls, kind of padded. It's pretty decent. Uh, USB ports off the inverter, not efficient. You're gonna wanna stick with those for sure. We got some speakers in the back. These work. The switch is broken. The back of this is broken. Oh yeah, look at that, cracked and broken there. Was not careful at all installing this. I found where the paint's peeling. Oh man, yeah. What's that? Here, here, here. Oh. Oh, well, good thing we weren't looking to actually buy this van because we don't need all this extra shit. I love booch forever, booch. All right, well, let's see where the money's at. Well then, okay, that's something I noticed right away. That's new. Whoa, hold up, what's going on here? Why is there so much oil here and here? Black paint on the dipstick. Why are we beeping too? Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, look back there. Oily, oily, oil. oh. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'd say that looks a little more than just oily. That looks bad. That looks I like guess it is just oil, but. Former Black Death, oh yeah. Cause look at all the oven cleaner. This rusty dipstick in the transmission is uh, worrisome. Agreed. This oil splatter all over here is worrisome. Yeah. And the fact that it's all oily around the freaking... Okay, maybe that's black paint, but yeah. still. Because it's oily like around here. Yeah, the Garrett Turbo is oily. Antifreeze running down from the head gasket here. Oh, yikes. I see that at the very front. Yeah. This one back here could be from a hose up above, right. but that, no, I'm pretty sure that's from head gasket in here too. We have oil dumpage down here. That's not vapor spray because it would be everywhere. It's like pouring out. Looks like a new boost temperature sensor. First looks aren't too bad. The way the uh, fog lights or the, the LED lights are cut into the bumper here is kind of strange. Those deer whistlers can't do any good in that foot pocket like that. But that's minor stuff. When we get up into the engine, it gets a little more scary. This dipstick should not be left in the transmission and it's looking kind of rusty and crunchy. Uh, more importantly, toward the back of the engine here, it gets really nasty. Don't know what all that is about. That's, I mean, we expect some oil here, but that is some really nasty, gross stuff. Uh, and then we've got oil on the turbo and some serious signs of antifreeze leaking down across the exhaust manifold. That back one could be a higher hose, but this front one here, I think that's, that's a head gasket. This has been rewrapped. So this got caught in the fan at some point. Yep. And I mean, call me silly, but those wires don't look 17 years old. No, they don't. Aluminum resonator. Intake air pressure sensor looks a little not Bosch. Yeah, sketchy. Bosch math, at least. Well, we ready to turn it over? All right, let's hear it. Fire at will. Go plug. certain I've heard somewhere that the exhaust shaking like it is isn't a good sign either. It's definitely uh, not coming out very even. I can definitely feel like it's uh, puffs instead of a smooth flow of exhaust. But it looks like there's been some work done back here in terms of shocks. It just doesn't smell right from back here either. 
what did you transmission looks uh, stock but the EGR is coming apart is that again wow yeah the metal clip that holds that on is gone somebody got a little overzealous trying to get it out at some point I bet somebody took it apart the wrong way cleaned it up and tried to put it back and no way in hell that's going to work right have we checked the codes yet no hold on Key is in hand. And it's definitely this. T21 recall. Yep. This is a symptom for sure. Let's close this door and see if the lights go off. No, that's still ringing. It definitely should have stopped by now. Yep. So we can confirm that's a T21 recall issue. Yep. Off on, off on, that should stop. There we go, it stopped. It did, yep. Can confirm. This van has been a victim to the T21 van killer. It's not really a van killer, but we like to be over dramatic. Control unit, engine control. Huh. Read codes. Oh, mill on, mill on, mill on. Three codes from the, the math. Mill on, store. Stored glow plug is faulty. Can message to WSP module. That's the uh, what is that? Locks, isn't it? WSP. 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 Um, we'll have to put in a little, a little uh, message with what it is in the video. Yeah. Intake pressure sensor is faulty. You said that looked bad. And a 2822 referred owner's manual. Even the cameraman's getting good at, pull, at uh, picking stuff out. Should we check the transmission fluid now or not yet? And wait till after we drive it. That is black as black can get. And he said he did all the maintenance, huh? I'm glad he didn't tell me he did all the maintenance at a dealership because a dealership eventually would have reset that maintenance assist. Yeah. <laughs> at some point in the last four oil changes. You want to drive a shotgun? Uh, shotgun. Oh, okay. Oh, this seat is low. Wow, mine's really awkward too. No, it doesn't. It really sounds. Ooh. Mirror's broken. Oh, nice. Yeah, I hear the bird, the boost, fluttering around, trying to compensate for that EGR that's not working. Oh, it's in lump mode now. Oh, yeah. Maybe not. Reset. Sutton. She's Sutton. Oh yeah, she's Sutton pretty bad even just doing that. Oh. Yeah, she won't run out of limp mode. Wow. Not even for a second. There's something clacking away too. Yep. Negative. Stick like that before. Interesting. Alright, so we didn't really need to bring our tools. Yeah. No engine cover to take off. Transmission dipstick is. They did the hard work for us. Suspiciously there. I guess. That's one clacking. Oh, no three's clacking even better. Like a 
Oh, the fan's still going. The fan was still going for a while. He said he replaced that. Yeah. Quick summary based on the codes. We've got a bad math, a bad intake sensor down there, which actually isn't even a proper one for this van. We've got a bad boost sensor over here. Uh, the EGR is coming apart. And we've got a massive leak on the driver's side. Looks like possibly transmission fluid. Uh, could also be power steering fluid. And we've got a massive leak on the passenger side that's definitely motor oil coming from the turbo area.